Welcome to Tanks and Vest. We're talking about investing, finance, and professional development. That's a recording time of 3.35 p.m. on Eastern Time. Ethereum contract $2,592. That's about 3.30% so far. As you can see clearly on the over crypto market and the equity market, we are experiencing relatively more of a bearish um, sediment um, slash flat momentum at the moment obviously driven by several different factors right one is with respect to the anticipatory pressure with the job report that's coming out at 8 30 a.m on the eastern time tomorrow morning so obviously as we know there's a skew in the analysis right knowing the fact that with a gap at the end of december all the way to i think the first two weeks of january as well um that people were you know had to mandatorily stay at home uh, so there's a skew in the job numbers uh, in basically approximating about like two and a half weeks uh, in the data. So as we reflect that, um, we have to see, uh, is there going to be a major misalignment in comparison to Wall, St Wall Street expectation, obviously after the readjustment that we just talked about so far, right? In addition to that is with respect to the uh, tech sell-offs that we've seen across the spectrum. Spotify tanked uh, after the earnings call yesterday. Obviously, Facebook uh, or Meta uh, tanked by 26%, uh, obviously, after earnings call. Um, and I think Mark Zuckerberg was very tactical. Um, and he was being brutally honest uh, with respect to the upfront capital investments of $10 billion loss that he has incurred into the Metaverse initiatives, which is relatively still a nascent technology uh, a nascent ecosystem if you may but if you believe in you know the metaverse um the web 3.0 type of um affectation going forward um with the fundamental that you know facebook has been cultivating so far that the bulk of the revenue is not really hindered but it's just that they made a relatively sizable strategic investment um and obviously people are gonna give doubts right because it's such a early proposition at the moment um, subsequently allow for the uh, drag effect among the tech sector, uh, dragging along the line other uh, mega tech stocks and obviously the small cap high growth stocks that are in the technology sector get also dragged down as well. So in addition to that, the last whammy effect is uh, it's like a triple whammy today is with respect to Ukraine-Russian war that's cultivating. Uh, obviously, we heard from yesterday that Joe Biden is sending or has sent uh, 3,000 troops uh, to the border of Ukraine, right, in support, um, you know, in a defensive perspective, uh, you know, to prevent or contain, you know, the crisis uh, being, you know, further cultivated or escalate going forward, right? So a lot of stir, a lot of uncertainty in the market, right? Um, and uh, good thing is that tomorrow is Friday and contingent on how the report's going to come out and contingent on the containment of the war, um, developments front, uh, we should be uh, gliding in the right direction. Um, and ultimately, technical is what's going to tell us the truth behind the psychology of investors. So let's just dive right into it. Respect to recording time of 3.39 p.m. on Eastern Time. Ethereum contract $2,600, basically. We're down like $8 away. And at the moment right now, we are um, just approximating... Um, the 2600 which is the but the real level is 2625 the next level that we will get down to in a technical perspective will be somewhere around like the 3670 um so we have to watch how that will go with the normalized level at the 37.96 out of 70 uh we are curving down right now so if there's a negative report that comes out tomorrow are we going to see more of a breakout or if the interest rate hikes um you know, out of our expectation, we could technically come back down to the next comfortable level, 2,360, right? And if it's even more severe, let's say a full war breaks out, I think 2,150 is not going to be that improbable, basically, right? And before I move on to other coins, let me just talk about the updates that I've done. Uh, so as you know, this is my Patreon updates. I have actually dropped in my Dropbox link that I prov provide for my patrons. Um, uh, on the all the confidential hedge fund research reports that you'll be getting. So I'm in process of aggregating at the moment. 
um, you guys will get it momentarily. But obviously, I want to like read through and digest a little bit more first, and I don't want to just like dump you a bunch of stuff without like being thoughtful about it. So be you know um, hold tight, um, and I uh, I look forward to provide you guys some like thoughtful reading material that you that will be helpful in terms of informing you guys, or like, at least gives you like a real flavor that you know what institutional investors are doing. Um, and that will give you a good sense on how you can triangulate your executions going forward, right? And for those that are new to this uh, channel or new to this Playtrion platform, this is like the daily updated uh, buy, sell, hold signals I have for the respective crypto and also for the respective stocks as well, right? And this is, uh, I have updated the list is, you know, a lot bigger now in comparisons to like weeks ago. I think um, I'm, get, I'm adding like two or three additions every single week or so or every couple of days appreciate the patrons that i have on the platform for supporting and obviously interacting with me and let's keep building this and improving upon this so let's go back into the topic of discussions uh so moving on to bitcoin right now down about 1.26 percent uh at the moment we are just comfortable lying around like the 3 36,500 down about 1.26 percent still pending on what's going to be happening tomorrow on the job report right Again, if there's no major misalignment, we should be fine. At the next level, if we go down to, it will be the 34,400 if we get a negative one, right? Dogecoin is at down about 1% so far. Anywhere from current level to the 12 cents is illogical for us. Cardano is up about 1.66% at 104 right now. Anywhere from 102 all the way to 92 is still logical for us. Solana, as you know, I bought some recently. I bought 20 Solana at $90.40 recently. So I'll watch out um, until if we see more negative pressure coming like because of the negative job report comes out or the war breaks out or something like exogenous that can be happening, I'm going to be right there buying, right? And I think anywhere from current level all the way to $81 is still logical. XRP is at $0.59 cents at the moment. Anywhere from current level to 55 is still logical. Polkadot is down about 5.22% at 18.34 right now. Anywhere from the 18.32 all the way to... 1587 is still logical for us to incur risk. Uh, Algorand's down about 6.5% and 91 right now. Anywhere from 90 cents all the way to 80 cents is still logical. Shiba Inu is at low 2000s right now, exactly at the consolidated level, right? Low 2000s, 1400 to 900 will be the log logical level to dollar cost in those frames. Po uh, Polkadot is down about 2.32%. The next level we'll go down to will be consolidated at 143 to 120 i like anywhere from 143 to 120 in my perspective at 34 out of 70 right now so it's so logical to incur risk avax down about 2.65 percent uh, i like anywhere from 50 all 59 all the way to 50 luna is up about 2.35 percent so far again right the levels that we identified so far is 62 52 to 45 from here with the 48 right now so it's basically just three dollars above the 45 so it's not terrible, but not the worst um, with the 35 of 70. So still relatively oversold collectively. All right. So appreciate you for joining me again on uh, Thursday afternoon. Um, it's definitely um, another wild week, you know, knowing the fact that it's even more severely uh, and prominently driven by the tech uh, sector uh, collectively this week. Um, but I look forward to seeing how this unfolds, right? And ultimately, we have to stay logical. Uh, stay quantitative and not let emotions uh, disturb you. And I think um, something that I've learned from my patrons recently is that there are so many informations out there, right? Um, and wh where do we find the right information? And I think you get the information from the source, right? And that's why reading those like hedge fund reports uh, that I'll be aggregating going forward is going to give you the best flavor in terms of like what is the actual numbers coming out and what is their the Wall Street's perspective in comparisons to what media companies try to stir to try to influence you, if you may. All right, appreciate you. Have a great Thursday and take care.